You know I don't angle my toms. I this is this this is I mean this is a whole new world for me. But you guys know my deal. When it comes to playing somebody else's drum kit, you don't move anything. You just sit down and you play. And this is Pete's kit for the day. Uh, so that's why we're back to Peisty Symbols. Pete's a uh, uh, Peisty artist. He's also a Yamaha artist. I just couldn't find my spare Yamaha kit laying around the house. So without any further ado, I will be, be bringing out my teacher, Pete Magadini, for you guys. And I hope you guys have a fun time. He's going to give you a full lesson. And then I'll come out and show you some other things after that. Hi, everybody. Glad to be here, here at Mike's Lessons. Uh, I like that groove that Mike was playing to before the... Uh, uh, before he gave his little talk about me coming out. Uh, and I heard several things in that groove. Um, I heard this. That one, two, three, four. But I also heard one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And from that one, two, three, four, I also heard one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So in that in that groove right there, though there's three elements that are polyrhythmic. Now, when Mike starts studying with me, probably he doesn't remember starting uh, polyrhythms being all that easy uh, it, to begin with because we probably didn't start with polyrhythms. I don't teach uh, everybody polyrhythms on the first lesson. Um, generally, I do a drum set like every other drum teacher, and, 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 and we... Uh, gradually work our way up to this concept and this is where we are today and I'm going to try to make this <clears throat> excuse me as simple as possible because let's take some of the mystery out of this uh, this is the important fact here is that there's not a lot of mystery to this this is not really that difficult all right and uh, I'm going to try to do that today but I'm just going to fool around with this groove a little bit and just show you what I heard in it um, Amber told me the group was called Rudder and uh, I'm just play on that groove a little bit trying to embarrass me there? I mean, what's going on? You're trying to show me up in my own home? Wow, that was awesome. Because in that groove, you heard that three. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And today I'm gonna to try to show you how to feel that and get to that point where you can feel not only the groove that you hear, but the grooves that surround it. <clears throat> Much like, you know, if you drop a a pebble in a in a in a pond the circles go out this way that's how polyrhythms work I'll just give you a little solo using some of those things uh, and then I might actually play it against a samba as well so you can hear it in a different application
All righty, so. Beautiful, beautiful. So that's kind of the use of polyrhythms. Like you said, you don't have to use it. And a lot of times, nine times out of 10, I don't use them. What I'm using is the freedom that they gave me. You know, my, this, That sounds a lot different than this. Okay, that's because of the freedom that polyrhythms gave me. They opened up that highway so my, my, you know, my, my headlights weren't focused so narrow. Everything was open and it was like, oh, we're good now. We're good to go. So I hope you guys will kind of check into this stuff. Uh, Amber will be patient.